Okay, take two, guys. I wanted to show you how I do our chamber cut and try to get them as accurate as, as possible. Now, first thing I'm going to do is you take, uh, you take a head gasket and you scribe the chamber on the outside. And while the head gasket is still on, you give it a shot of blue. So it only covers the area that you're going to be working in. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to drill a, a junk valve as close to the center as possible. I put a line on it. That way, every time I install it, I know I put it vertical. So this distance is going to, going to be extremely close from, from each other, okay? Next thing I'll do is I'll use I'll use these, these calipers with a sharp point on them. These are my father-in-law's. You set it right in the center, and you just scribe right into the glue. And you make a little piece. So you can follow the chamber on this side. You don't make it a point at the very end. You round that and you have a nice arc out. And it makes uh, like, a, like the Fuley cut. Now, that's the first part of it. The second part of it is actually I need to move you guys. So let me pause you. Okay, so this one, this chamber here, has already been, uh, had its notch cut out. But what you need to do is you need to figure out how deep that is. So what you're going to, what I wind up doing is I take a common mark. Let's say it's three-eighths of an inch in from the edge, okay? And then, of course, you have to make it. You have to hold the calipers uh, plumb as possible. And you check every single one of them in that point. And in order to do it right, you really should do in multiple points along this arc to get them as close as possible. This is a decent sized chunk. It took a couple cc's of, uh, of metal out. And you want to get them very, very close to the same so they will all flow similar. Are they all going to flow the same? No. Intake ports don't flow the same. Okay, we've I've done videos on that already. All right, you can see this one is just about done. I'm very close to that line. I'll bring it right to that edge of that line, and then they'll be just a little bit. I want it rounded right here instead of instead of sharp. You can see I did put a a, a burr texture on it. And it is curved, right? So when the air is coming out, it kind of has a nice way to swirl around. Okay, we're trying to take pressure off of this side of the port, giving it an easier way to exit. Okay, that'll change our speeds inside. And it will change our speeds on the short side radius. Remember, the short side radius is super fast, right? So, we need to reduce that. All right, that looks a little better with a little light down. So, this is the port that we have been testing. You can still see there's a tiny bit of blue down its throat. And... To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to get to do any flow tests until the weekend. It's, it's it's so unbearably hot in here. It's really not good to run the bench like that. So I still have to uh, I have to do all the chamber cuts on these. I have to take all the the fins off the short side radius and reshape the short side radius on this head. The other head is done. Uh, 
So I decided I'm just going to do a short video and show you how to make that chamber cut. Uh, I did a little researching around on the internet at lunchtime today, and I didn't find anyone anyone that does anything like this on uh, on Magnum heads. If anyone else does does a, a modification like this, let me know. Oh, another point that needs to be made is you have to make sure you have enough metal here. Okay, the way these are cast, this was a big solid chunk of iron. Okay, but it's really thick. So even though I take out a nice piece, it's still plenty thick enough for a chamber. But I don't know if all heads are like that. So it's important to measure them first. And one way you can measure them Okay, these type of calipers are good for that. Now, of course, Chrysler's are have really small water passages, so you may not be able to get in there and uh, measure with that that way. If you have an ultrasonic, you can always use an ultrasonic. But yeah, it's important. It's important to know whether you have enough iron there to uh, successfully complete this uh, this mod. All right, guys, I think we're going to keep it short today. Can't think of anything else I need to talk about as far as these. Oh, you know what? Let's show you what the short side looks like on the other head that's pretty much done. Okay, not the easiest thing in the world to film. It hasn't had its final texture put over it, but you can see the, uh, the vein is gone or the fin is gone. Okay, you can see my mark at the bottom. I right, come almost to the mark. And we're going to see how that works. The uh, short side was also uh, widened a little bit. And a little bit more of a layback. Let's take a look at that. Okay, not completely finished. But maybe you can get uh, a glimpse of how it, uh, how it looks. Like now, I will touch that bottom cut with a stone and get it nice and bright the way I want to after I'm done polishing it the way I like. And that'll be that. All right, a little bit different view of that chamber cut. Just to give you an idea, this is actually a different one that we were looking at before, but they're very, very close to being the same. All right, guys. I got a ton of grinding to do. It's hot as can be. And I got to get these done. These have been, these took way longer than they should have. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.